Hello dolls and gents, welcome back to my YouTube channel once again and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get these super defined kinks and coils using a twist out. So first you're going to need your hair of course in whatever state you may have it. Then you're going to need to either shampoo and condition or simply co-wash your hair. I am going to co-wash using these two conditioners that I'm showing you here. Next, you're gonna need something to enhance your curls and then something to lock your curls and define them. And then you're gonna need a pick or a wide tooth comb, a satin bonnet or scarf, and an old towel or t-shirt. So let's go ahead and get this hair co-washed. After co-washing, I'm just going to dry my hair with this t-shirt that I had. It is a lot better for your hair and your curls. Go ahead and use that t-shirt. And this is what I'm left with, a pile of fluffy, curly, kinky coils. I'm gonna take my curl enhancing smoothie, take about that much, about a quarter size, and massage that and distribute it all into my hair. So, this is helpful for people who may have used too much product, but do this step regardless of how much product you use. Take that same towel or t-shirt and rub your hair in a circular motion to get those curls to start popping and that product to dissipate a little bit. Alright, so now for the good part, the twisting. Take as big of a chunk as you want. Um, the chunk depends on how big you want your spirals or coils to be when you take it down. That's about how big I want mine to be because I want this to complement the curls I already have. So I'm gonna take some raw shea butter and coat that strand in it. And then I'm going to begin to pick it out a little bit just to come through it. Make sure there are no tangles. And once you're sure that there are no tangles, split that section into two parts just half as close to half as you can get and then twist away and for those who do not know how to do a two strand twist I will go ahead and explain it to you in the next couple of clips so you're gonna want to twist as far as you can to the bottom now I understand that not everybody can twist it all the way to the end because once those hairs get to a little short, you know, stuff starts to happen. So when you get to the end, wrap it around your finger a couple of times and let that curl at the end bounce up. Just like so. So again, grabbing a chunk of hair. You don't really have to make these parts perfect or anything. It's actually better if you don't make them perfect because then you'll have very defined lines in your head. And the point of a twist out is to look kind of you know, I don't even know. I don't even know. Y'all get what I mean. Not wild, but wild but tamed. Wild but tamed. So I'm going to split that part in half after detangling and applying my shea butter. And I'm going to begin to do a two-strand twist. So for those of you who don't know how to do a two-strand twist, I'm simply taking one strand and crossing it over the other. In this particular frame, I'm crossing the bottom over the top. If you reach a point where one is way shorter or way skinnier than the other strand, split the bigger strand in half like you see me doing here, add it to the other strand and continue twisting. It won't look weird, it won't make the twist look awkward or anything like that. It's just a way to allow you to keep twisting down a little further and get the best twist out you can. And once again, wrap the end of it around your finger just to get that curl at the end to curl up. Now if you're like me and you use way too much product and you get white buildup, take your finger, slide it down the twist while it is stretched as far as you can. Once again, stretch it out as far as you can and slide your finger down the twist. Real simple, we'll remove all of that extra product. So eventually, you'll end up having some fat little chunky twists on your head. <laughs> Looking like Sealy. Lord, Lord, Lord. So, Continue that until your head looks like this, till it's all done. Take your satin bonnet, place it on your head, and go to sleep. Yes, sleep. So, after you wake up and your hair has soaked up all that moisture, it is going to shrink a lot. 
So take your curl enhancing smoothie to avoid frizz and making unnecessary strands pop out of the twist and keeping your definition. Go ahead and start untwisting those shrunken fat little twists on your head. I simply stick my finger in the middle of the two strands and pull downward and they come right undone. Upon completing untwisting, you will find that your head looks like this. Not at all what most people's twist outs look like, right? Uh-uh, we about to fix this. So what you do is you simply take your hands coated in your curl control stuff and you split those pieces up. Split them into two, three, four, however many you want. Split until you find the perfect size twist for you. These curls are all up to you. The more you split, the smaller they'll be, the bigger your hair will be, the more volume you'll have, and ta-da. So next, take your pick and pick out your roots. This makes the style more voluminous and bigger, and it also keeps your head from looking so flat. And at that point, the twist out part is complete. Now you get to style it however you'd like. I am going to add some bangs using some bobby pins. Just gonna bobby pin the top of my hair down a little bit so that my bangs fall in my face regardless of the shrinkage. While fluffing and styling, keep in mind that it gets better as the days go on. First day is the worst day, but play around until you like it enough to go on about your life. Then you just continue to freestyle, continue to fluff and pick and separate until you have the perfect twist out for you. When you're done, your curl should be popping and defined and shiny and hydrated and all that good stuff that everybody wants in a style. But please, please, please do not forget that this hairstyle is not just for ladies. Let me go ahead and introduce y'all to a very special fella in my life. Y'all thought I had a boyfriend. This is my little brother who kept begging me to do a twist out on him because he really liked the last one I did. And here it is on him. Yes, we have the same hair color and texture, but yep, that's it. So anybody who wants to do a twist out, go ahead and do your twist out, y'all. Do your twist out. Let me know how it goes. Send me y'all's products, y'all favorite things, your favorite style to do with the twist out. And of course, have a very blessed day.